Hey guys, welcome to the UF Disciple channel. Today, uh, we're doing something a little different. Uh, me and my friend Byron, the owner at yes, yes. Game Arena here in Centurion, uh, we're doing a little project trying to turn this CM Storm MX Cherry MX key switcher thing, tester, and trying to turn it into a uh, small keyboard so that we're able to, what are we doing with it? Just control scenes on like XSplit and just have like a, a little mini keyboard that has dedicated functionality. So we're heading to a robotics store now to get the microcontroller and everything that we need. Uh, so let's do it. So Byron and I headed on over to Micro Robotics in Centurion to pick up the supplies we needed for this project. The guys there were super helpful and knowledgeable and we definitely recommend them for any DIY programming robotics projects that you might have. Their link will be in the video description along with all of the things that we picked up if you're interested. So at Micro Robotics we purchased an Arduino microboard, a pack of jumper wires, and a breadboard. Once we had these supplies we then had to figure out what in the heck we were going to do with them. Firstly, we had to use the breadboard, jumper wires, and the Arduino desktop application to find a way to be able to get each key press, or every time we grounded the wire, to register an input on the computer. Thanks to the fact that the Arduino Micro is a native USB human interface device and didn't need to be programmed as a virtual USB keyboard, and there was some helpful documentation on the SparkFun website, we were in business and we were able to get the Arduino Micro to function as a keyboard. But then that left us with the problem of could we actually fit the Arduino board and necessary jumper wires into the Cooler Master CM Store mechanical key switch tester. So we popped the device open and began to figure out how to work with the space we had. Thankfully, Cooler Master actually uses real cherry switches in this device, so it was pretty straightforward how we were going to attach the jumper wires to the switches themselves. We were able to find a convenient position for the Arduino board at the top of the device and hot glued it in place after we dremeled out the side panel to be able to access the micro USB port that's showing. Then came the tedious task of soldering the jumper cables, which the efforts of won't be fully represented here. We ended up setting up a ground wire that was attached to the board and stripped so we could have multiple contact points for each of the six different keys on the key switcher. Then we soldered each of the cables to the ground cable, its contact point on the Arduino board, and its respective pins on the cherry keys themselves. Then, after a bit of finagling and adjusting the wires, we were finally able to get all of the cables to fit within the key switch tester, and closed it up. And what we have now is a fully functional six key keyboard that will be a dedicated media controller for the production room at Game Arena. Both Byron and I are pretty amped that we were able to put a few pieces together and actually make a legitimate keyboard that actually works. And I just wanted to take a moment to thank Shane from Cooler Master for sponsoring this project to turn their key switch tester into something they didn't design it to be. Both Byron and I are appreciative of Cooler Master's initiative in promoting the maker spirit and encouraging us to take their products and make it ours. So there we go. We set out to make a keyboard and by golly, we made a keyboard. Like this video if you found it helpful, dislike it if it was more disappointing than Byron and I realized after closing this thing up, there was a piece of loose solder in there that we had to open this thing back up and get it out because it wasn't working properly. Anyways, please leave a comment down below letting me know if you'd like to see more of these types of videos in the future and if you do, what products you want us to mess with and make our own. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.